Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Vika, as usually, that never changed. Today, uh, I want to say hi to you from this beautiful place. This is, uh, how it's called, uh, Alta Botanische Garden in Zurich. So this is like old uh, botanical garden. I love this place, so I found finally some shadowy uh, place, but it's still not super shadowy. So uh, from time to time, I think I'm gonna just put back my sunglasses. So yeah, let's get to this reading. Hope it's gonna be interesting. Let's see how your person, how your crush, how your partner, anyone you're dealing with is viewing your... Oh my God, I just realized I didn't take off my headphones. <laughs> and I was like, why am I speaking? And I feel like I'm, you know, like head underwater, like a bit. <laughs> oh my God. Hope my, my voice didn't sound super weird. Okay. So yeah, let's see. I'm taking these Astro Card, um, Astro Cards by Tanya Brock. This beautiful golden black. I love everything black and gold, gold, gold and black. So this is a beautiful deck with astrological uh, signs, zodiacs, uh, houses, planets, stuff. So let's see. We're gonna have a signifier for your person, or like let's see. Um, if it resembles, like it, it resonates with you. It resembles the situation, like something about your person, your person or your relationship. So yeah, as usually we're gonna have three piles. I took a few decks with me, but now I have to be super careful because today it's windy. So basically it's not a good day to film something outside, but who could stop me? It was, uh, here weather is uh, changing like each 15 minutes from rain to sunny, so Anyway, <laughs> I'm full of energy today and this place is so beautiful, so inspiring. So I'm going to share some energy with you guys from this place. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have three piles, three people today. First person going to be... Uh, okay, the second house. Resource, resources and values. Okay, so this is maybe someone resourceful. This is uh, basically house of Taurus, Taurus. So it might be Taurus, like Sun, Ascendant, Moon, Venus, anything in Taurus. Uh, someone, okay, wealthy. Someone, for example, materialistic, for example. Or someone, you will check with the other piles with the, what we have and you're going to choose what suits you better. But like someone valuable for you, let's say so. And these guys are only my options. If you, for example, like you're not in the mood of, you know, choosing and thinking you're busy or something, I'm giving you options. But you should always listen, first of all, to your intuition, not to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So hopefully we made a deal with you guys. Okay. I hope everything is connected. Like my microphone. Let me just see if I'm not... <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah, because it happened once, like kind of recorded all the video and it's mute. <laughs> Okay, number two, the second person will be for today. Wait, again, Taurus? Like, come on, how many more Taurus energy there should be? Okay, guys, I don't know. The second house, <laughs> the Taurus for pile number two. Okay, good. Now what we ha we gonna have, I don't know. Venus, <laughs> another Taurian energy. Spirit is like, okay, there cannot be too much of Venus love energy. And third person, okay, this one is popping out, please. Okay, Aries. So yeah, Aries. We're choosing here either your relationship or your person. So this person is supposed to be either some of these signs or something, you know, corresponding. And, um, ah, okay. Sorry, guys, didn't tell you. For the second, this, this keyword here is like uh, the sensuality hedonist. I would, I would translate this as hedonist. And this one here, uh, Arius, is a fighter or how to say, combatant. Yeah, like fighter, warrior, warrior energy. So, yeah, guys. For third, uh, third pile, I feel like definitely it could be like something fiery, sexy for pile number two, something sensual. Oh, and for pile number one, I'm just dropping like some of my insights. You don't have to listen to that, uh, as I said. <laughs> and for uh, pile number one, it could be like financial relationship you're in. 
Okay, so uh, we're gonna start for pile number one, the second house here. I'm gonna grab oh my God, this deck, uh, this spacious tarot, and I hope that my card's not gonna fly away from here and my camera not gonna fall. So yeah, this is the spacious tarot for you. Let me just give it a good shuffle. All right, the shuffling is done. I wanted to be super careful if the wind gonna take my take my cards and like they will be gone with the wind. So yeah, I'm gonna also grab some because I come on, I prepared like many stuff. I, I I'm ready. Like I didn't go out from home with just one single deck. I took this Manara Oracle. I took this Queen of Moon, this Astro card, and this Ichin of Love. So we're gonna have a very juicy reading. We're gonna spill some tea on this connection. So yeah, how does your person perceive this connection with you? How do they see it? And you know what? When I, while I was shuffling this deck, multiple times I saw on the bottom of the deck tower and death. So I suppose you guys are not talking to each other. There has been some, okay, I feel this card. Uh, so yeah, there has been some conflict definitely, or like something happened, you learned something. Uh, yeah, I have this a bit like, tainted love, tainted love vibe. Because that might be like a conflict, but also this tower, it's like the breakage, the break to the connection like uh, on mental level or emotional. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna be hiding. I will, I'm gonna take a while putting cards back into boxes because I'm on, come on, the wind. <laughs> All right, long-term commitment, how they perceive it. Okay, all right, whoa. Fullness, fullness. Okay, so far I don't feel anything else from this deck. Let's get Queen of the Moon card. Okay, this one. Creation. Whoa. Something very promising here. Purity. Mmm, love this energy. Okay, guys, I really love such energy. Thank you guys for coming here. I'm really grateful to people who bring, I mean, I'm grateful to guys, to everyone who comes to the channel because, you know, our life is black and white. So sometimes I enjoy dark energy, but this, <laughs> I even have this one, but I'm going to shuffle because it's, it was at the bottom of the deck. Lightness of being. Exactly, I feel this lightness of being here, but I, I mean, there was tower in the depth. So I don't know who, who did something ron who who screwed up this relationship but it feels like uh, there was something really pure and they see it as something pure uh, as they perceived it as the beginning the creation of something serious long-term commitment the fullness so you gave them um, like everything they needed in the partner and i'm not going to be surprised that it was them who destroyed this beautiful connection because i feel some destruction like i mean the tower the tower speaks to for itself Okay, yeah, and the, the temperance, it's like, yeah, give it a time. So, you see, how cool is that? The spacious terror is wonderful. Fire and ice, connecting to opposites, complementing, complementary solidarity. It's actually one card from this, this Iching of Love deck. <laughs> All right, okay. What Manara gonna tell us? What Manara gonna tell us? Okay. Uh, loving and trusting yourself with Sun in Leo and Heart Chakra. Okay, this is how they perceive this relation and this. And I see. Okay. <laughs> the wind is coming. <laughs> I don't know if you hear, I'm probably you hear it. I'm like afraid for my cards next time. <laughs> okay, Fire of Desire. How I love this card with Daenerys, Mother of Dragons. <laughs> Okay, guys, fire of desire. So yeah, I feel like there was certain, uh, I don't feel this relationship was um, was a long one. I feel like there was a certain spark because th this creation card was like, look, it's like planning, it's like creative process. So they had a lot of plans. They perceived this relationship as something pure, something their soul was waiting for. Well, that's why guys, I'm telling you, I'm not surprised if they got scared that, okay, everything, this all, I mean, embodied in you, for me, no, 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 I'm gonna sabotage it. Yeah, so they saw it as a long-term commitment, but again, I don't see it, 
I, maybe for some of you it was already long-term commitment, but I feel like it was a potential for long-term commitment. So please comment down below, how was it? So yeah, how do they see this relationship, this connection? I'm just gonna grab, I think, each card for each, each, uh, for each Oracle card, one tarot card. But let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw already here uh, 10 of pentacles. Yeah, long-term commit 10 of pentacles. Uh, three of pentacles. I'm not gonna get them because, I mean, uh, I also perceive those energies as like something underlying, but not the message itself, like the undercurrent energies. And there was three of swords. So yeah, there's certain um, pain and destruction and heartbreak, heartache. Some painful truth. I feel like some painful truth has come to light. Okay, okay, okay. Dear spirit, how this person sees their connection with our pile number one? Child of Pentacles, exactly, exactly. This is potential. This is a little seed of some pure untainted love, but exactly like pure untainted love, but someone has tainted it. I mean, I'm not trying to tell you you're the guilty one if you did something, but I mean, guys, like something really happened. They perceived it as like their everything. Look, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is about commitment. It's about, but, but not only, you know, if Hierophant is not like, oh, Hierophant, you're getting married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is 21st century. Not everyone wants to get married and this is fine. Like, there's no, not everyone has to get married. Like, come on, it's just like some signature. Like, you know, for papers, maybe if you need to live in one country and you have different citizenships, maybe. But whatever, it's your guy's choice, yeah. Uh, but Hierophant for me, it's also the spiritual connection. It's um, um, because Hierophant, it's also like the spiritual teacher. So this is like a priest, someone who guides you. So they, they felt some guiding light within this uh, connection. Like uh, when they met you, like... Uh, hmm. They heard this either inner voice of their intuition, I, either a higher power, the universe, like, what should I do? How should I make my life right? How should I do this right? So it was their chance to make it right. I mean, what's going on now? Like, can I, can I please see? Okay, yeah, yeah. Two of swords. Yeah, definitely not talking to each other. Definitely some kind of stalemate situation. Two of swords, like no fighting, but no talking also, no contact most probably. Okay, three of cups. They see this connection as very fulfilling, very friendly, very mm, exalted, like exalted. You gave them so many, uh, so many energy, so much emotions. And yeah, pure, innocent, like there's this childish, like they felt like a child. Like I will not be surprised if there was like, uh, it, 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 your person is like, ah, yeah, we had the second house for signifier. So it's like some, you know, kind of, let's say, uh, <laughs> like, I mean, it doesn't have to be this, like exactly this person, but some kind of, you know, uh, stereotypical Wall Street trader with this like uh, uh, cynicism on his face, like serious. And like when you were together, like this person was smiling like a child, like, like, like this excitement, they're super excited. They saw you as their long-term commitment. They see now. So we ask about now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's get into more details. I'm, I'm going to try to keep this reading short today because I'm like, with, when I when I did that, uh, probably you watched it, the healing, healing your sexuality, reconnecting with sexuality, like two hours. I was like, God, my poor, <laughs> my poor guy is gonna be listening. But come on, it's it's your healing, so I hope you are fine with that. Yeah, come on, the Empress, the Empress. If you are feminine here, if you are feminine, so you're the embodiment of beauty, of abundance, of motherly archetype, motherly energy, loving and trusting yourself. Uh, guys, they love and trust you, but I feel like they don't love and don't trust themselves. This is the point here. Okay. Yeah, okay, fire. We have this fire of desire with my favorite Daenerys, and I, I just saw here some like page of wands or ace of wands, something passionate. Like, okay, spirit, we got it. A lot of passion, something passionate. Like, this is the spark which kind of they feel like uh, you made them much younger. I'm not going to be surprised if this person is either older than you or you guys, uh, um, both of you are not uh, not teenagers, definitely. If you're a teenager, you should not be listening to this. This is for a grown-up. 
aunties and uncles. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Fire of desire. A lot of passion, a lot of passion. We got it. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Most probably you noticed it yourself without tarot. Yep. The judgment. Whoa, ho, ho. Love it. Lo uh, judgment is awakening, is again, bringing back to life. So, like rejuvenation. So, uh, you were like somehow i want to say you were but uh, also i feel like you know guys the all these energies this like uh, mm, spiritual downloads with higher fans so maybe they perceived you also as their teacher so you opened their you were their eye opener you opened your uh, their eyes on something like spirituality meditation um anything i don't know psychology what are you into o or just kindness maybe they were like hey i didn't know that uh, men or women or who are you into uh, i don't know who who are you doesn't matter actually can be nice like this to me because you, you know i kind of this person is very guarded nine of ones so they're like they just get that's why i'm saying like it's kind of like reminds this energy of you know stereotypical wall street uh like deal of this hot hustle culture all this money money materialism thing so uh guys if there was like a breakup or a conflict or something uh, you need time apart because these energies are super serious you know awakening judgment the hierophant so uh, this is basically transforming their life they're going into a new chapter of life and this is not easy and this is not easy to god and there's this lawnmower oh my god i hope it's not super loud whenever i start reading somewhere at home they start like behind my window they start building something immediately like there was uh, quiet and now they started here i sat down and they started doing this okay guys sorry this just proves maybe that our our world is not stagnant everything is moving and it's fine and i shouldn't demand the complete quiet <laughs> okay let's get the last card here i feel like getting the last card and definitely we're getting uh, a piece of advice for you Mm, 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 mm. How do you see our dear person, <laughs> pile number one's person, this connection? Please tell us. Ten of Wands, <laughs> and this is this is like the uh, the final card. As a lot of desire, as a lot of uh, pressure. Uh, really, guys, you are either karmic partners or like this twin flame thing, but don't get too much into twin flame um, because it's it's like also you know it's a very thin line between sacrificing yourself and you know loving unconditionally so yeah it's a long story short I, i'm gonna record a video in my with my opinion like it's just my personal opinion like backed up with my you know my psychological studies and stuff like blah 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 but i mean if you disagree that's that's completely fine you know better your situation oh my god <laughs> oh my god what I, what I see here ah uh, yeah you know what and here i see this sabotage sabotage they are really sabotaging they're resisting this connection with the strength they're afraid of your they, they think sometimes for this tension they have they don't understand like hey this is i mean the judgment spiritual downloads this was supposed to be happening sometimes they kind of uh put the fault on you uh, i hope it's a correctly saying that okay i hope you understand me uh it's like uh, they think you're the guilty one for their state but like you know that's why i'm convinced that this person is materialistic and they're just entering the world of subtle realms you know subtle realm intuition yeah i mean and they're uh, they're really afraid so they see you they saw you as this ten of pentacles the empress everything basically but now it's like four of swords and the world so they feel they they see that it's over you know but these cards seven of swords and seven of cups they prove me that this is their illusion they're being you know very negative they're caught in the cycle of negative thinking let's get a um, piece of advice for you with this situation i'm gonna grab all my cards to have i like to have the full deck i like to have the full deck Oh, there are some people coming so it's gonna be you're gonna be talking <laughs> around us don't freak out if you hear something okay all right thank you so much for 
your advice, dear spirit. I love this high priestess. Look at it, hiding the pearl inside. Hiding the pearl inside, guys. Don't go talking to them. Four of four of swords. Just wait. There, uh, this is their um, spiritual lesson. They have to come to you. I, I'm pretty sure they screwed, screwed it up because, uh, I mean, this high priestess, someone who's connected to their intuition, inner world, who possesses this inner riches with uh, presented with this pearl inside, uh, could not screw it up. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, guys, and Ace of Cups. So you know, if you feel like you still love them, uh, don't contact them. Send them love. Just imagine a ball of love creating uh, from from your heart chakra. Uh, like you can make it green as. Uh, heart chakra in color, pink, white, like whatever, uh, whatever you want. And you can just send it to them, uh, to their soul, you know. Uh, basically, when such situations happen, then this, this contract, contrast between 5D self and 3D self, like lower and higher self. Okay, guys, uh, so my opinion, uh, it's my opinion, I mean, like, uh, it's of course professional, like backed up with, with uh, my experience, but still I'm a human being and I can, you know, be wrong, especially in uh, general reading so please use it with caution and it should resonate with your intuition right so uh, in my opinion we should always keep on loving their soul like their what does this wasp flying here around come on <laughs> ah, don't touch me no <laughs> sorry uh, yeah so we should like keep on loving sending love to their uh, inner child their soul how you see it like their heart chakra and uh, you know, be strict with their 3D self, which uh, did something something wrong here. So yeah, guys, uh, please, please uh, give it another chance only, only after they start, you know, they offer this cup of love, this Ace of Cups. They come exactly like this card here, pure. They come pure. They tell everything. They don't manip manipulate. They don't try like, oh, oh, I'm like, they don't, you know, try to manipulate uh, um, meeting, communication with you. Just they come straight to on a on point and they're saying sorry or something or i love you i don't know this ace of cups purity emotion they offer you something something pure mm -hmm. yeah nine of swords yeah they're caught in the uh, in cycle of fears but guys this is their lesson you cannot uh, be you know like mother teresa compassion style i hate mother teresa like she was like so fake judgment yeah they're just having their awakening and this is fine. This is what they have to, to go through. You know, they, they need to leave their old ways behind and go into a new chapter of life. Okay, it's getting actually chilly. Okay, I think I'm gonna put... Or no. Okay, this, this weather here, it's like you don't know. It's like from wearing a jacket and still feeling cold to wearing a top and, and, uh, <laughs> and still fe feeling hot. <laughs> oh my God, I love it, I love it. Exactly for my quick brain, yeah, so this weather. Not to get bored. I want to get another, another, another. Ah, no, what? My cards are falling, like, come on, no, no. Ah. Don't. Okay, these are our, this is our second house, so yeah. I want to get an astrological card for you with a piece of advice. Piece of advice. Okay, this one. Oh, Trigon. Damn it, and I don't know this German word. Come on, what's that supposed to mean? Unterstützung. Und Inspiration. Okay, inspiration. But okay, Trigon is um, a very harmonious aspect. So, uh, of course, guys, look at the positives. Look at the um, bright side of this. And look at this two given hands, one and other. If they start giving, if they start this the cycle again and they want to come with something okay don't you know don't let them manipulate you into just you know be very strict with them if you come pure that's all right for your giving hand for your hand of friendship i will also you know i will accept it if you're trying to like you know play uh, play me like a fool no nine <laughs> nine <laughs> all right guys pile number one thank you so much uh, i'm really happy to have you here thanks a lot love and light to you and see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, pile number two. All right. You chose this Taurus energy here. Mm. The sensual, I would say the hedonist, Dizinliche. Dizine, it's like senses, like sensual. Yeah, sen sensual. Oh. So yeah, it's either a Taurus or, you know, some sensual, like 
very warm, caring, nurturing connection. Mm -hmm. And this is rather feminine energy. So it's, uh, it's a feminine, for example, if you're dealing with a feminine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what I want to do, it's uh, I'm getting uh, a few oracle cards for you from these decks I prepared here. So I got Ichin of Love. Most probably you're wondering what kind of decks I'm using here. Uh, Queen, of, Queen of the Moon Oracle and Manara Erotic Oracle. So let's see. Okay, let me put this Taurus somewhere in the safe from wind place. Okay. I don't want to lose my Taurus from my Astro deck because Taurus is my ascendant. <laughs> no, cannot do that. Okay. Okay, dear spirit, how does this person perceive their connection with pile number two? Okay, uniqueness. That's beautiful. I like it. Uniqueness. And there was, I saw, but I'm, I didn't get it, the card, um, which is called contemplation. So they're contemplating, they're thinking about this connection a lot. They're analyzing it, they're meditating on it. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? Is there some other message? Okay. Uh, all right. Way too many messages, but still let's get them. Why not? Yeah, so we had uniqueness. Uh, we have this looking at one another, looking at one another. Well, this is about really seeing each other, seeing each other as a personality beyond the gender roles or beyond the relationship roles. Like, hey, you're my boyfriend or you're my girlfriend, you're my wife, you're my husband. It's like looking into the, uh, into the inner core of a person, into their soul. What I see here also, limitation. So there's certain limitation here. I don't know what's going on now with you. Okay, dear spirit, what's going on now? Maybe we could see. Okay, master of gems, wealth, king of pentacles. Wait, uh, well, looks like something very stable. Okay, I don't know. I, I feel also the, this energy of liberation here. This, this card is talking to me, liberation. So yeah, there are certain limitations. I think, well, followed by these cards, the courage of love and youthful inexperience. So there are certain limitations uh, created by fear, by lack of experience, immaturity, for example, and fear of love, basically. So there's certain like, but you know, we have uh, this fear of love card here. We didn't get it from this deck. This is very good. So this is not about basically fear. This is basically about a pause before being courageous. So this is this is much better than fear because the fear would would interrupt would mess up this connection much more okay i have too many cards from this deck but why not <laughs> why not okay look, let me let me organize them a bit because i'm just trying to you know like hide them for them not to fly away <laughs> into the uh, because uh my other video from the field which i was filming like near the airport there was like a field so i could at least run and catch them and here it's like you know it's like a slope so <laughs> i'm gonna fall down trying to catch my cards <laughs> definitely okay what does this how does this person sorry sees this connection i'm gonna ask now queen of the moon oracle how do you see this connection with file number two but, damn it i just said like we didn't have fear fear they're afraid. They are afraid. Well, attraction. Okay, attraction, of course. We got it that you're attracted to our <laughs> beautiful pile number two. Otherwise, they wouldn't come here. Okay. Yeah. Beginnings and action. Okay, this, this person is cool. Look at look at them. They're like, yeah, yeah, boundaries. Okay, again, boundaries, limitations, hunger. So they're like stopping themselves. They're uh, they're afraid that they're gonna scare you also. Also, or, you know, this person here, they got, I like this, they got blocked uh, by fear, um, you know, limited with fear for like some instant, like, I don't know, like <laughs> 30 minutes and after they're ready for action, you know, I'm joking about 30 minutes. I, I wish it would be 30 minutes, but 
uh, unfortunately, most probably, it's it's like some longer period. But if if there is separation, guys, here, because they're like really, uh, really astonished by this connection. So uh, they were they weren't ready. They weren't ready. I want to just add some more details to this limitation or fear, like this this negative uh, energy coming through here. Okay, six of gems, generosity. Huh. They are trying... Um, since this is Taurus and king of pentacles, six of pentacles, so this maybe this person is pretty slow as all <laughs> Taurus. Taurus is the slowest uh, uh, sign because it's Earth and it's fixed Earth sign. So it's like double, double trouble. But I mean, I mean like double trouble, you know. Now, in my opinion, because like, I'm like one of those people who are like jumping the gun. So uh, now I think that actually being too quick is creating trouble. But being too slow, I don't know, maybe it's just not my soul lesson. You can comment down below. Do you think that being too slow can get you into trouble? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I'm so, somehow a Taurus ascendant, but I'm like, I'm like very weird Taurus. I'm like super quick Taurus. <laughs> Taurus on steroids. <laughs> oh God. Okay, wait a second. Manara. Okay, please, dear, dear Manara, how this person, how this Taurus person here um, sees this connection with pile number two? Let's get it. Yes, the lower and the higher self. Hey, in which pile I was, I know in previous I was talking about the lower and higher self, like 5D self and 3D self. Yeah, okay, so there's certain like hierarchy. They feel, um, they might feel small near to you, so. Yeah, so, but, you know, I I like this pile because this fear and limitation, they got slightly, you know, uh, slightly scared, but after they got courageous with love. <laughs> this is cool. So, yeah, and there's like this higher and lower self, obviously, it's uh, actually Venus in Sagittarius and um, throat chakra, the fifth chakra, Vishuddha. If you, um, if it says something to you, if not, please ignore. Mm-hmm. Oh, the lightness of being. Venus in Libra and heart chakra. Oh, my God. They feel like you um, you fill their world, their space with this, you know, innocence, lightness, excitement, bliss. Cool. And, okay, guys. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Love it. Love it. Love it. I don't know. This pile is super talkative. I think this person has a lot of dreams of repressed lust they oh and god and my my bottle of water is falling and look at actually i, I love this bottle what, what it says here love is shared egoism <laughs> just started falling behind me here somehow a message message while channeling okay uh guys what i see here that this person really it's like this back and forth movement but i i feel this person is like they're you know, they're not going to take, take uh, for long. I, you know, I said it like with humor, of course. So they, they got afraid for like 30 minutes and after they are like back into act. But there's something, something really close to it. So what I, what I saw here, the muse living in my dreams. Wow, how cool is that? You're the muse who's living in their dreams. Uh, guys, they're, you know, slightly here afraid about um, whether, I, I see this now, whether they have created all this, they have imagined you they have, uh, have idealized you they have put you on a pedestal and you're like not giving a damn about them so this is this is why they are worried about so do you love me back this one dreams of repressed lust and the roads to regret or remorse so they're really feeling i'm gonna i'm gonna see uh with this one um this is connected with their fear or with their pulling away or this is, okay, nine, nine of wands. Or this is their opinion about the connection somehow, no? No, no, no. Opinion about the connection will be like collaboration, three of pentacles. Yeah, guys, they started feeling. So, you know, it's like, this is rule, like rule number one forever. If someone is um, running away from you, never chase them. Okay, people are coming again. Um, if someone is running away, never chase them. It's law of attraction. It's like, I don't know, it's just common sense, right? <laughs> yeah, so never chase them. So I feel like you guys didn't chase them. They 
think something something happened and you were like okay maybe like i don't know they changed the plan Do doesn't matter i do me i'm i live in my perfect perfect life i'm a beautiful creature i'm i will shine bright like a diamond screw you okay <laughs> something like that maybe without screw you maybe you're just ni nicely yeah and they like this, this sounds super uh, like there was super quick change like they kind of pulled away and they uh, like instantly realized hey i'm gonna be sorry about that the roads of regret or remorse and you know this card is very actually i love this card because regret and remorse this will be one will be i'm sorry for doing this and one would be another one would be i'm sorry for not doing this so they got caught into this this like and you see lower and higher self so this is like their mental mental labyrinth and look <laughs> secrets and discoveries with sun in taurus again so guys this is not gonna be a secret for a long time so and they have a, i saw also a card here creating my new self i'm not gonna get it because i have this full full uh table here uh, with um cards already but yeah so i think they there was something also with them creating their own self so they they felt like smaller somehow so it just pushed them towards uh, their development, this connection. Muse, yeah, the muse living in my dreams. You're their muse. This is how they view this connection, most of all. So this, this card is the, the most prominent for me. And Manara Oracle, this guy is Milo Manara, actually, this one here. In case you were interested in this. Okay, yeah. Dear Taurus, <laughs> how do you perceive connection with pile number two? What do you see here? Transition. Whoa, okay. So this connection for them is definitely taking them somewhere. Yeah, new beginning. So uh, this connection gives them progress. It's, it's moving them. It gives them um, this sense of like, you know, aha moment. So with this connection coming to their life, some dilemma in their life has resulted. So they felt like, okay, I'm finally moving to a new stage of my life, to a new chapter of my life. Victory. So far we have six, two sixes, and uh, sixes are the most, how to say, like the most, not really positive, but like lucky cards in, in uh, minor arcanas, in the number cards. Victory, transition, okay. Dear spirit, what do they see else? The journey, okay, three of wands. Whoa, okay, something else. How do they see this connection with you guys? Okay. Whoa. Eight of gems, eight of pentacles, hard work. <gasps> Four of wands, homecoming. So far I don't see any, any major arcana or something. <laughs> no, I said I don't see any major arcana. I have two now. Thank you, spirit. Um, Wheel of fortune, cycles. Oh my God, a leaf. A leaf fell down, <laughs> it's also a sign. Cycles with Wheel of Fortune and 15th Arcana, the devil. So, okay, guys, they, they are so attracted to you that they feel like it's a trap or something. Like, it's not that you're trying to trap them, manipulate or seduce them. No, but they feel like they're exactly li restriction, limitation. So there's something limiting them. What's that? What's that? <laughs> are you gonna, you're gonna laugh intellect what's blocking them intellect they think too much about this master of clouds king of king of swords of course king of swords is blocking everything of course who would doubt it what else heartbreak three of swords so their previous heart like, i mean i understand it like whenever if you if you got like uh, uh you know divorced or you get some few nasty breakups in your life and you're like over 40 and you're like uh should i try it again <laughs> my heart will not take it no come on the lovers oh okay 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 thank you for the messages yeah what they see six of cups uh, six of cups um jesus what's this apprentice of raindrops uh, i think this is uh, uh it doesn't matter if it's a page or if it's a knight of cups it's not gonna differ the energy so much i think it's knight of cups yeah and six of cups with soulmate energy soulmates yeah they see that you're their soulmate but they are indecisive they're indecisive they feel this you know duality with lovers lovers it's love ten of cups ten of raindrops it's fulfillment they're fulfilled they feel that, that you're their counterpart but they're scared just scared and indecisive but i feel it's like it's not for a long time 
Okay, guys, let's get a small piece of advice for you before we close off this reading. Mm -hmm. Well, seven of lightnings, which is once defense. Okay, this this is a uh, this is a message not to give us give away yourself too much. You know, it's being assertive. I don't feel like you have to like attack them, love bomb them or something. Hey, how are you doing? No, no, no. Just defend yourself. If they moved moved a step away, you you make another st step away. But you know, not in a mean way. It's like, oh, okay, you kind of have no time for me. Okay, I'm just getting busy with uh, some other stuff. Like, don't be mean, but just just you know, okay. You make step back. Uh, I may make also step back. Oh, hey, there's something interesting. There's my career. There's my art. There's my business. There's my sports. Like something, my friends. Someone else asked me out for a date. Why not? Love, life goes on. Mm -hmm. Another piece of advice for my dear pile number two. Hermit. Hermit. Seek truth. Yeah, um, you know, just go hermit mode. And I feel this message is like seek truth. It's not really for you. It's like for them, you know, for them to seek truth. You know, you know your truth, you know. Um, get, you know, concentrated on something. Maybe, maybe you're in studying process. So concentrate on your work, on your studies. It's like some kind of, you know, uh, retreating from the world and working on something important for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, curiosity. Yeah, curiosity. Novice of clouds. Oh, okay. This, so yeah, that guy was knight of cups and this one is page of swords. So yeah, page of swords, it's uh, rather passive energy. So this means like, okay, if they contact you, of course, respond, but, you know, be curious and be like, but, you know, stay in your hermit mode before they approach you again yes and i want to get you one card from here as a piece of advice from this astro cards we had in the beginning so dear spirit what would you also advise file number two with their taurus person new life goals okay guys just you know you do you <laughs> And Saturn. Saturn is limitation. So if they kind of limited themselves from you, do the same. But, you know, not in a mean way. Just do your stuff. Uh, make, create new life goals, for example. Right? Do something interesting. Mm, shift the priorities. Shift the priorities from love life to your career or your passion. Okay. Okay, guys. I hope you loved this reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for bringing your beautiful energy here. And I see you all in the next one. Bye. Hi, pile number three. You chose this Arius. This Arius person. The warrior. The, the fighter. So, yeah. It's either your person or something passionate going on with you guys. And you have this... Where is the box? I don't know. Uh, this is the Wandering Moon Tarot. With The box looks like this. The card looks like this. Okay, what's that? This Justice. Okay, something about Justice here. Actually, it's interesting because Justice would be Libra. And this is the opposition, the axis of self and partnership in astrology. This is the opposite to uh, Aries sign. And this is also interesting. Okay, so let's see. Uh, first, I'm gonna grab some cards from each chain of love. No, don't fall. Ah, God. <gasps> I love it when my cards fall on the floor. Oh my God. It was sarcasm, of course. I don't love it. No. No. <laughs> Whoa, a new beginning. How do you feel about this connection? The new beginning. Mm hmm. Yeah, this one. Okay, the obstacle. So they see that some obstacles to this new beginning are in place. Something is something is off. Okay. We're going to clarify on that. Don't worry. Okay, this one. This one wanted to come off. Cohesion. This is my two of cups kind of um, card from this deck. Cohesion. Wow. Cohesion, it's, it's connection. It's maybe you guys uh, like read each other's mind. They, they feel like you read each other's mind, guys. Okay. Falling in love. Okay. Yeah. Falling in love. Ooh. -hoo. <laughs> Falling in love. All right. That's cool. So, yeah. Let's get a card from this one. Queen of the Moon Oracle. This 
sorry, I get just slightly distracted because I'm like in a uh, in this uh, old botanical garden. And there was like a guy like approaching me like really close and like looking what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, thanks God he's away. <laughs> no, I mean I just I just get super distracted and I need to like wait a second, close my eyes again and like get into my flow state back <laughs> from my 3D self into my 5D self. Okay. So yeah, Queen of the Moon Oracle. Please tell us what this person feels, sees about this connection. Power. Ooh, this is powerful. This is a powerful connection in this opinion. They see it as something powerful and something giving them power. They see also you, if you're a feminine especially. I mean, if you associate yourself with a feminine, you don't have to be a woman, like, factory, but you have to, like, be in your queen energy yeah this so the powerful feminine energy here and powerful relationship because this this lady is like like a magician here like a witch for me trust okay they perceive this connection as something to trust wow <gasps> nourishment the empress energy this is my empress card from this deck nourishment okay cool okay Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. Let's see next. Okay, I hope my tarot is not flying away. All right. How oh, should I put it? Okay. Milo Manara Oracle. What do we have here? How do this? How does this person? Sorry, uh, perceive this connection with you guys? the lure of the easiest way okay with the uh, venus in virgo if it says something to you and manipura third solar plexus chakra if it says something okay so they feel guys guys they feel some seduction from you like it's um okay purity of purpose so how they perceive it so purity of purpose there is like certain purpose okay with sun uh, in sagittarius so they see the direction the pure direction this connection goes to but there's also something you know but i think it's like at the same time uh, you guys can choose or them they can choose like the more pure you know spiritual way with sagittarius or Sag, Sag is spiritual and the easier way for example like the easiest way w would be like to have a one night stand and like jump into bed uh, start having sex together like really quickly without knowing each other but something is stopping i will i will actually add some more tarot cards on these i'm super interested in details here on this obstacle card what's what's the obstacle and what's this easy easy way let's get another card because why not belief in your beauty well they just find you with together with this nourishment the it's my empress energy here they find you very beautiful. Look at this is, I think this is Emily Ratajkowski, no? What do you think? Okay, my camera would, would never focus here and here. Yeah, I think it's her. And this is Alicia Vikander with Lara Croft. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I wanna see, dear spirit, please, uh, could you give some, some more details on this obstacle? Eight of Swords. Okay, this is, <laughs> I think, it's like, hey, what, what didn't you understand? Like, this is a very Captain Obvious uh, re reply here. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I mean, after sitting here, like, I, my, uh, my legs are already feeling slightly numb. <laughs> All right. Eight of Swords, like, again, obstacle energy. Yeah, but maybe some more, or I should just not ask more. Queen of Wands. What Queen of Wands? Ace of Swords. Knight of Moons. Knight, uh, Knight of Cups. Okay. Queen of Wands. This passionate lady here and this Ace of Swords information. Is, Queen of Wands. Is it you guys? Or is it like a third party situation or something? Okay. I have an empty card. This is like additional card in this deck for... Guys, I'm afraid that there might be like some third party situation or something like eight of moons but for you there was like eight of moons so maybe they're like yeah and there's the seduction the lure of easy way uh, 
Yeah, guys, I, no, I don't feel like they kind of leaving or something, but, but there could be like, um, okay, I, um, like, for example, a situation, uh, like life situation from like, uh, like my clients, some one person would like have like officially uh, a partner, for example, and they're meeting like this person they're really attracted to. And uh, the easiest way would be like, yeah, let's have sex, let's become lovers and like, uh, let's just, just cheat on that my partner. And you know, like that other relationship, the more long term was already like breaking, it was not working already. Uh, yeah, but this person sees this, you know, they are falling in love with you. They see a huge potential. So they're like, no, they're not my third party they're my like next partner so i don't feel like this is something so yeah it's before they kind of make it clear with that other person they don't want to you know be disrespectful towards you i feel this energy here i mean i hope i'm not sugarcoating it's something like okay spirit is is this what i say the chariot ace of stars yeah king of stars okay king of pentacles yeah look this deck is super slippery i'm afraid it's gonna fall around like yeah justice look justice so they want the situation to be fair five of stars they're not gonna forgive this and three of pentacles here it's like yeah really there's look three three hands three uh, th three people here but you know don't worry it's not that like you, you're being lied to some but most probably you know that there's third party but they want if they you know if you you had this uh, attraction towards each other and they kind of stopped they want to sort it out with uh, the other person yeah they they will never forget this to themselves they will feel bad like a cheater like a piece of you know you know what uh, <laughs> s i t t uh you know if if they do this to you you know they they see if they look the magician any kind of manipulation and trying to play with people uh, trying to be a player gonna br bring more heartache with three of swords okay this this person is pretty king of yeah yeah yeah. this king of pentacles yeah i saw it queen of swords okay but guys your energy is like with the, the world card here you guys queen of swords and the world the world is like a very multifaceted personality it's someone who possesses it all so you have a very feminine soft part of your of your personality but you have also this strict one noble i'm taking no bullshit queen of swords so if they know that if you learn that they were like tricking or cheating or something uh, it's gonna be over it's just gonna be over so this is their concern and king of pentacles this person is really stable and guys they are um I mean, guys, it's good that they are, uh, they are not jumping into a new connection with you and they are still considering the feelings of their partner. Imagine the situation if they would fall in love with you and they are immediately with you and they're like just abandoning their previous partner whom they had like, someone had maybe kids, someone family, someone just spent many, many years together. And you know, they're doing the right thing if they're taking their time and they're sorting out the previous relationship this is good so this is like i mean i'm pretty sure you're not a little baby here and you understand you're a grown-up person and you understand everything okay i hope my microphone is working yep so yeah this look this page of wands and the chariot they they didn't expect that from this spark uh it will like they will have this drive and they they will be like so attracted to you and ace of pentacles before they have this real opportunity they they have basic they have something to offer you they they don't want to you know make moves on you yeah so let's see this was i was clarifying the obstacle and this lure of the easiest way so there's like the easiest way and there's like a choice to be more you know de decent person they're choosing to be a more decent person okay but i want to clarify because i'm, I'm i don't want to like sugarcoat or something okay is there something like you know uh like some dirt on your person or something in this situation can we s see that maybe you need to know it ace of cups no ace of cups no no no. this is this is pure love this is unconditional love this is big heart they have big heart no the moon the moon uh, the moon and the wheel of fortune it's the the uh and ten of wands they, they just got like honestly stressed out because of this situation they they're this person cannot lie <laughs> you know they cannot lie and this is like this was so uh like not not random you know it, it was like destiny meeting you but they were not ready for it they were not ready for the changes and they feel stressed out because they're like trying to be like you know do do the right thing with both like previous i feel it's not the third party it's like previous relationship what's with that relationship i mean nine of swords okay yeah there's like something you know nine of swords the magician and the strength 
there's a lot of anxiety about that relationship maybe conflicts maybe um, the devil yeah uh, the devil and the fool and the tower oh, oh and nine of swords guys they they really want to leave this this connection okay and i forgot what was the, the other cards strength yeah so you know strength is like some kind of uh, power struggle right now between them and the, yeah, like devil and like, yeah, that's being bonded, the passion, because this, this person was queen of wands, so they rather have like this passionate, you know, connection. So mm, I, maybe it was like friends with benefits, something, or it's just a very passionate person or the other person, uh, that one they are trying to sort out the relationship with uh, while falling in love with you uh, is more like, you know, that person is more into them that then at the moment they are into them. You see, you see what I mean? Yeah. So this is like the problem they don't know how to how to say so yeah let's just continue how do they see this relationship connection with you let's just double check with tarot though i think i think oracles just gave us like really full picture okay five of wands yeah i mean this creating conflict with it five of wands uh, con conflict in energies they're stuck between two two people Ace of Cups again. Ace of Cups, falling in love. Yeah. That first innocent, pure feeling. How do they see this connection with you again? King of Cups. God, from Ace of Cups to King of Cups. Imagine this is like 13 steps, 12 steps between. You know, we have 14 uh, cards in each each color. So this is like, imagine how many stages they're like so in love with you. It's like from this, this first butterflies in the stomach, it's like to fully like, uh, you know, mature grown-up love and king of moons it's also someone who is really good with their feelings it's it's a caring it's a loving person it's like fatherly energy i'm pretty sure that this this person here is a masculine we are checking on with the Aries. Aries is a very masculine sign even if they are not Aries, but they have this this fighter of active active uh, initiator of something energy about them um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this person, but the King of uh, King of Cups is actually very good at concealing his emotions. He's processing them very deeply inside. He feels everything, but he can have this poker face, and you will never guess. And this is you see, this is about them. So they perceive this connection. It's like they don't see it as uh, yeah they see it as cohesion good connection but they think that you kind of maybe you know that they had a girlfriend that's why or yeah somehow i feel like this is like boyfriend girlfriend thing or wife or something like we are checking on uh, masculine and you're feminine somehow please correct me if it's wrong i mean it's general reading so maybe i'm just reading the the energies and that's not the like genders and sexes actually but doesn't matter tarot about energy is not about gender so yeah So they feel like it's them who is in love with you. They, they, they feel this connection like with you. Yes, that's true. So it's like both of you, like two of cups, but two of cups, they think that you are more uh, perceiving them more as a friend. Maybe you know that they had someone, right? Yeah. Okay, how they see this connection? A bit more information, please. Temperance, temperance, wow. So this is like this uh, safe harbor energy here, balance. And now it's kind of uh, slowed down and this, uh, temperance gives this very mature flavor to me so there's something mature there's something calm about this relationship and they're like fully in love but you know it's not crazy in love like you know like a teenager but it's like with this mature grown-up love so they feel like this is finally that grown-up love i was looking for yeah queen of wands okay three of pentacles yeah and they perceive you as this look you're very goal oriented. This is Sagittarius Sun here, this card with this Alicia Vikandra's Lara Croft. Love her. I mean, still my favorite Lara Croft is Forever Angelina Jolie, but, Lara, uh, but Alicia Vikandra was so cool. I mean, she's like so fit. Come on, girl. Whoa. Yeah. <clears throat> safe harbor, safe harbor energy here. I think you guys, you were friends still. Uh, uh, maybe you're still friends or you were friends. So this is like relationship based on friendship. like meeting each other on the soul level as personalities uh, and and falling in love definitely falling in love and you know believe in your beauty so you're extremely beautiful for them hmm. okay some more details please 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 there was a magician okay okay magician 
something they manifested. Yeah, it's like something I wanted and it's coming and I don't know what to do now. Should I take this chance or should I run away or what to do? But no, this pile is like, I, I never get any like fear or something energy. Uh, they they want to go for it, but they want to take time and they want to like do the good thing. They want to be a good person. And I, I heard this word finally. I think they did like previously in their life a lot of like nest, like playerish type a bit. But who wasn't like that? I mean, like, come on, if they want to, we're not going to judge someone for their past, right? Yeah, their, uh, your connection. Ten of, oh my God, ten of pentacles. My God, they see, they see that you're, uh, you're their family. Okay, for some of you, it might really mean that they would love to have family with you. Or and look how cute is that? How they, they're hugging each other. I love it. I love this indie deck. Ooh, two of stars, two of moons. Okay, okay, okay. The hermit. Yep. Ace of swords and ace of wands. Whew, the fool. Whoa. Okay, guys. And you know what? I In this deck, there is like this fool and new moon. This is full moon card, additional one. Uh, okay, okay, I don't remember when it's going to be the full moon. I think... Oh, wait, it's soon. I think it's going to be like on the 10th. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, because I'm recording videos a bit like a few days prior. So it, I think it's on the 10th and I'm recording on the 9th. So it's going to be like... Oh, okay. So exactly when I'm going to upload it. Yeah, and publish it. So guys, they also perceive this connection as like really something, Ace of Swords, uh, Ace of Wands, something like brand new. They never saw a person like this. They never expected a relationship like this. It's like a revelation for them. And this is a new passion. This is a new passion beginning. They really want it. Like, come on, three aces, you know, like in, like in poker, aces, <laughs> aces, three aces. This is like full house, this relationship, full house with 10 of pentacles, come on. And, or what was like, uh, I don't remember this this combination. The, the something is cooler, like straight royal, or what is like the coolest combination ever? Like the coolest com poker combination. They like feel like the winner. Like this is jackpot. Oh my god, how did I deserve it? And you know this, um, they have some doubts about like what to do. The fool and the hermit. They are taking their time, so they they don't really understand. You know, they, I see that this is about respect towards you. They want to withdraw a bit, not to like you know act like a fool, like jump on you like crazy, like, hey, let's have family, I, I love you. <laughs> That's it, I fall in love with you. So this two of pentacles, it's weighing the options and it's just, you know, trying to have this balance um, between like, you know, uh, being very open with you, with the fool, trusting and still being in your in their space and processing things. Like thinking, this is a very grown up, mature person here. You know, they're think thinking, they're processing, they're not just jumping. And we finish it with two of cups. Should I, should I add something more? No. <laughs> should I add something more? No, absolutely. This is my two of cups of this deck. Ichin. Cohesion. They're like, you feel me. You f you, finally someone feels me. Like, you feel my soul, really. Two of cups, two of moons. Mm. So cute. Okay, guys. Let's get... Uh, small piece of advice for you what to do maybe what to i don't know what not to do like advice i'm gonna see it's advice or a warning or something the lovers guys just love them just love them you know yeah 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 guys guys there needs to be look the death and the four of swords don't be afraid of this um like pause or uh how to say okay the empress here three of pentacles also um full moon like something is happening on full moon so the full moon is like uh, yeah exactly 10th of september i think yeah in different time zones it's a different time but maybe it's like a di another full moon because it depends like maybe someone is watching like a year after i'm filming so it doesn't matter like tar by the way tarot spreads don't have any expiration date if you find something published by any tarot reader like five years ago if you found it if it resonates it's the message from the universe universe and uh, synchronicities they can you know go through they can how to say like um uh, break the time and space continuum yeah mm -hmm. ten of wands guys make sure that you are not stressing out make sure that you know send them love 
there will be this definitely this um, silence between you this like transformational period because really they need to sort it out they need to transform their thoughts they need to transform their their life goals and something three of pentacles yeah it's uh, collaboration it's like if you're friends guys and maybe you you know what i would advise you guys also here with this death and four of swords uh stop any expectations stop waiting for it uh do a meditation actually i mean it's gonna sound like weird and creepy and something like i don't know but it actually works in law of attraction imagine that you're saying goodbye to them it's gonna release a lot of tension imagine that this like didn't work out or something and you're letting them go Whew. if we are letting go something it's gonna chase us let them go like let no let them go as your uh, romantic partner but please stay in like friendly contact or something don't break the contact because this is about you know lovers the empress like if you love them if they feel you with good energy please stay but i would recommend here uh, for a while uh, keep the the sexual the romantic thing away with the death don't worry they're gonna come they're gonna come yeah well, after a while, because this Ten of Wands again here, so there's a lot of stress. And there's, again, Ten of Wands with these two hands. They're like weighing how to do it. Yeah, of course, they spent, I, I, I assume, like some time with that other person. So they're also weighing, come on, we are all grown up people here. And if they wouldn't love that person or appreciate them and value, they wouldn't be with them. So it's like not, I'm pretty sure you're, I don't know why I'm explaining this. I'm pretty sure you're grown up people, you're not babies and you understand this. So... And you are not, I don't feel that you're a jealous person or something. So yeah, I just want to get a final advice card for you guys from this astral cards we had in the beginning. So yeah, like one card for advice for my dear pile number three. Neptune, dreams, spirit, meditation. Yeah, guys, guys. And Trigon, uh, the, the Trigon, um, Tring. Trigon, I think it's in English. Three of stars, a three of pentacles and Trigon. Guys, uh, do like meditations on them. Uh, try this let, letting them go. Try this sending love to them and stay in like this friendly contact, in this cohesion. I feel like also this energy is filling you up with energy, you know. So this death card is not talking about you know, and again, meditating. This death card is not talking to me about, uh, you know, cutting them off. Well, of course, if this person did something really nasty, but I don't feel like, of course, like, I mean, of course, but we, I wouldn't, uh, the, the spirit wouldn't advise you like to wait for them or something. It, and, you know, you know, all the tarot readers are saying this and I agree to that. Never wait for anyone. Just wait, please, for my new video. <laughs> okay, guys, love you. See you next time. Love and light. Bye bye.